What's going on guys? Get here with Rask Group, back with another video. Today, episode one of Brand Breakdowns featuring Dry Fire Mag. So, what is our Brand Breakdown series? Essentially, we look at not only the products that a company has to offer, but customer service, what they're about, their message, and we go from there. So, with what I can reasonably find on the internet, I've been doing a little bit of research, actually quite a bit of research into Dry Fire Mag, looking around, looking at different things. Hopefully you guys enjoy this kind of a unique review process. I'm excited to do it. Let's dive into it. So first off, we have two products from Dry Fire Mag. We have the standard Dry Fire Mag, which you insert into your firearm as so. There we go. And then it's going to be a first rough trigger pull. After that, it gives you a force trigger reset. And that's essentially all it does, right? I gave this first dry fire mag, this first initial look, uh, a more of a deeper dive in our product focus series. Uh, I give it a 5 out of 10 review. I think it's a great tool for a newer shooter, for an experienced shooter. I don't think they'll get nearly as much out of it. New to the review lineup for today is going to be the Smart Dry Fire Mag. Noticeably lighter weight, a lot more stuff going on on the back end. We'll be diving into that. So, that being said, let's start with who is Dry Fire Mag? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, taking a look around their website and their social media, I cannot locate an About Us section. I don't know who the owner is. I don't know their backstory or what they're about. Um, I see a lot of videos of affiliates and influencers and stuff like that, but really not in an about me section. I had reached out to dry fire mag actually, I think it was early to mid February of this year, 2023, sent an email from my RAS group training email account said, Hey, I'm doing an independent review on dry fire mag. I sourced everything myself. I don't, I'm not asking you to send me anything. Can you just tell me a little bit about your company, your views for the product, possibly some, uh, sorry about that, knocking shit over, possibly some more information about where you guys plan to go, what's next in the lineup, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, as of the date of this video, which is March 10th, 2023, Friday, I have yet to receive a response back from them, which is fine. I mean, obviously I'm no one important. I get it. They have better shit to do, but a little disheartening, right? Um, what if I was a customer reaching out with an issue? Would they have, would they respond to me then? I don't know. Um, next, kind of, you know, what's Dry Fire Mag all about? Um, from what I can find, they seem like they generally believe in their product. They boast the benefits of their product, the money that can be saved from Dry Fire training. They seem like genuine believers in Dry Fire, which I can appreciate. And that's a pretty much, that's really all I can see from, and that's making a huge assumption based off what I see on their website believing that their marketing is a true belief and not just that, not just marketing. So obviously, you know, we're uh, kind of off to a rocky start here. I don't know much about them. I don't know, really know what they're about. I sent one email, never got a response back. But again, not a big deal. Things happen. Um, the one thing I can say is that they do offer a 10, per, uh, not a 10%, not a 10% a $10 off program for military and law enforcement. It's kind of cool. Um, I believe that, you know, being law enforcement myself, I'm a big proponent in, you know, we work for a living. Guys shouldn't be looking to cut corners at every avenue or accepting free shit, ex accepting every discount. But it is nice. It's a good gesture, a good kind offer that is offered, that uh, Dry Fire Mag offers. Um, I paid retail for mine, except I got my smart Dry Fire Mag during the Black Friday endeavor. And they gave the ten dollar off thing to everybody. So that's how I that's how I source that. Now, looking at the products, we've already dove extensively into the non smart dry fire mag, the standard. So what I have, and this is kind of a this is, I mean, I don't know if there will ever be a universal solution, but you have to buy the specific dry fire mag for your firearm, right? So both of these are manufactured, designed to work with Glock, double stacked, 9mm, and 40 caliber firearms. 
not the Glock 43, not any larger calibers, specifically those two calibers and the models of handguns that lie within. So your 19, 23, 17, 22, 34, 35, 26, 27 models, right? All that sort of thing. Let's see here. I did take notes, guys, so bear with me. I am a very big, very big on note taking, so I don't forget shit. So standard dry fire mag comes in in an MSRP of $98.99 or $104.94 if you want the upgraded spring kit. The smart dry fire mag comes in at $274.99 and then $280.94 with the spring kit. So standard dry fire mag comes in, I think, just a baggie, right? This in the spring kit. The smart dry fire mag comes in this nice little soft case where if you open it up, you can put all your instructions, your mag, your charger, all that stuff. Well, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how the Smart Dry Fire Mag works, so I have some of that shit out here, but also included in this case is, not that one, the Smart Dry Fire Mag, your laser module, this wooden dowel plunger rod thing, and a charger for your Smart Dry Fire Mag. So, which, 275 bucks or 280 bucks, I mean, you're encroaching on 300. That's not a small investment by any means. So, I don't know. You, we'll get into it, right? Like, bear with me here. So, the Smart Dry Fire Mag is a pretty interesting concept and honestly, kind of, and I'm just going to say it outright, kind of disappointing. So... First off, the install process is a little specific, but not too bad. So first, and I saved some time here, take this little green battery, plus side goes against the springs, and you drop it in and screw it into what is going to be your bullet, right? So you get that, make sure it's screwed down all the way, don't over tighten it. The skinny end is going to go into your barrel. So, clear. So with this locked back, I'm going to take this and carefully drop that down into my bore. And then as it's sitting in here, I'm going to take it and I'm going to press it firmly flush to my barrel. Okay. Now do not drop the slide. They're very specific. Do not drop the slide. You want to controlled release the slide just like that. And then you don't damage the laser. So next, we're going to take our smart dry fire mag, move that out of the way. To turn it on, you're going to take this top piece and depress it for two seconds. Okay, you see that orange light come on? That means it's on, it's ready to go. I'm going to take this. Notice my trigger is already reset forward too. You got to like negotiate with it a little bit to get it in. There we go. And now you have a protected laser with your smart dry fire or with your dry fire mag, right? Pretty neat. So yeah, with this one works pretty well. Okay. So then the uninstall process is pretty similar. Take this, I'm going to take that out of there. I'm gonna lock this back. I'm going to be careful not to let that slide forward. And this is what your wooden, your little wooden dowel rod is for. You're going to gently get that against the face of the laser and ever so gently push it out. It's okay for it to drop a short way onto the table. Not a big deal. And then once everything's uninstalled, you're good to go. Not too complicated of a process, a little bit though. Um, so projected smart, so a projected laser with your dry fire, right? Not too bad. And turn off, you just do the same thing, right? Repeat process. Not too bad. Um, what I will say is it's, it's nice having the projected laser. You can actually see where your hits are impacting on target. I believe there is a way to kind of zero the smart dry fire mag, but I mean, it was pretty on par with me when Anything I put it in at the distances that I dry fire at, which is anywhere from like 
five to seven yards inside of my front room of my house. So interesting product. Now there's a lot of there's a lot of other programs, a lot of other products on the market that offer an app. Okay. Now if you look at any of the directions that came with us, and it comes with quite a bit, right? It comes with two pages front and back of directions. It doesn't mention an app in a single anywhere. It doesn't mention that they have an app. I discovered that they have an app through doing some online research and finding a couple YouTube videos on it. This could be pretty awesome, right? Like, okay, well, now I have an app system to help me kind of give me some feedback, do all sorts of stuff. Seems like a great idea. Psych. The app, one, doesn't work. It's archaic. It won't connect to my mag. It won't do anything that I need it to do. Doesn't work. Watching the videos online and watching it for people that it happens to work for, that it does work for, for whatever reason, the only thing I can find that it does is you can set a round count and as you depress a trigger, so as you go boom, 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 it'll actually decrease the amount of rounds and when you hit zero, it will beep. I mean, I'm, I'm, and I might be a little, and I am disappointed, right? I'm not a little disappointed. I am disappointed because I spent my own money on this. I wanted it to be good. I want it to be beneficial. It was kind and it's kind of a disappointment. Um, I don't really care to have my rounds tracked during my dry fire process. And maybe that's just me. Like when I dry fire, I'm working on isolated things the draw, the presentation, uh, my marksmanship, my sight alignment, sight picture, my grip, like a bunch of specific things depending on, the, uh, depending on the day. I don't really care to know when, to me it's more important to know like how those rounds are impacting that I'm sending down range and what the app can tell me I'm doing wrong versus how many rounds are left in the gun. Cause I could just put that at like a hundred and just never run out, right? Um, at least in the training setting, shit, you could get a drum mag for a Glock and never run out. Not in a practical engagement anyway. I mean, it's possible. Don't get me wrong. And I do not advocate for carrying drum magazines, but so that was overall kind of disappointing in itself, right? Like, um, not to mention, you know, and this is worth bringing up. Fuck it. So my first experience of using the Smart Dry Fire Mag was with this, my RAS 19. Um, I noticed, so what would happen is my trigger would break. So pretty nice trigger, Overwatch Precision. Take a, Hit my wall, break, and then it wouldn't project the laser. I'd have to pin that trigger ever, ever so slightly past where my the breaking point in my trigger is to get the laser to project. That sucked, right? And like, I didn't experience that issue in this gun or this gun. This is an Apex trigger. This is an OEM trigger. Maybe that's something specific to that brand of aftermarket trigger. I don't know. But nonetheless, if you're running an aftermarket trigger and you bought the Smart Dry Fire Mag at the tune of 280 bucks plus shipping, hoping you would get some real dry fire enhancement, you'd probably be pretty disappointed, right? So, Overall, if I had to choose one of the two, as far as where I stand on my sample size, my products, I'm going to go with the standard. I'm going to go with the standard dry fire mag at less than half the cost. The bulk of the functionality that the smart dry, that the dry fire mag offers between the standard and the smart, I would go with this. Um, I originally gave this a product review of a 5 out of 10. That is subject to go up depending on how this works in accordance with some other dry firing aids on the market. If it, if my logic holds true, this could potentially be a huge boost to those systems and what they offer as well. Maybe we'll see though. I mean, I'm not going to tell you that it's, it's a for sure thing before it's not. That's kind of what the point of the review process is. So overall, this is kind of my re my categories of reviews that I'm looking at and what my rating my ratings are. So for you know the business like them as a business and their practices as a business, I give them a three out of ten. Um, I got no email response. Um, 
to and nothing points to who they are or what they're about it's kind of a little bit of a mystery um but the ten dollar off gesture is nice that they do that for holidays apparently and you know first responders and military that's that's a good gesture without without that it'd probably be a two out of ten i'm not gonna lie i mean i'm pretty it's pretty irritating to not know who a company is where they come from what they're about and then you know i don't even get an email response so uh the products i'm i'm gonna hold at a five out of ten it really you know it could be a four the standard dry fire mag saves it for me like this is this is a decent tool especially for newer shooters to me the smart dry fire smart dry fire mag was kind of a fail um the, this specifically would probably be a three out of ten but being fair and trying to be somewhat optimistic because this essentially will do the same thing that this does just at a much higher price tag. We're going to, uh, we're going to stick with five out of 10. And then I guess between those, my overall rating probably be like a 3.7 out of 10. If my math checks out here, um, Yeah, that's what it comes out to. So like roughly like a four out of 10, 3.7. We'll round them up to four. We'll give them that. Um, that's That seems fair to me. So in conclusion, I cannot in good conscience recommend this company or their the bulk of, or their premier product, their smart dry fire mag. Um, you know, for me to recommend somebody, I'd like for them to at least be at a six out of 10 for a specific demographic. For, you know, for even rounding up to a 4 out of 10, I just can't, I can't justify it. I can't. Um, yeah, I would say a 3 out. Actually, you know what? We're going to, I'm, I'm going to say it. 3 out of 10 for the Smart Dry Fire Mag. 5 out of 10 for the Standard. 3 overall. Yeah, that comes out to like a 3.5, 3.7, somewhere in there. I just can't recommend it, guys. There's a lot, especially when I look at other options on the market, like the Mantis system, you can get into that for about 150 bucks, And their app will actually give you some beneficial real-time feedback. I haven't tested it out personally. That's next on the list um, as far as dry firing training aids go. But yeah, guys, if you're going to get one, do not get the Smart Dry Fire Mag. If you absolutely want to try it, get the standard. I mean, it'll at least give you a force trigger reset. And that's assuming that you have a firearm that doesn't already have that. So that's where I'm at. That's my review. I wish I was really hoping the first one would go good. It, uh, I'm kind of disappointed. If Dry Fire Mag sees this, um, you guys reach out to me. We can definitely talk about it. And I can give you some very specific issues of things I was running into. Um, I think I covered majority of them in this video, if not all of them. Hopefully no one takes this too seriously. I'm one guy with one opinion with a sample size of two, and this is what I found. So make sure you guys check out Brownells for all your, for all your firearms needs. That's what, well, this build, this build, and this build kind of were all sourced from and the parts used to build them. Big shout out to them. Check us out on Instagram, underscore RAS Group, and uh, check, us out, check us out on the website, rasgrouptraining.com. Sorry for the long video. I didn't want to skip anything, leave anything out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment, message, email, whatever. And uh, I'll be back with the next one. Until, you, until then, you guys stay safe, stay trained, stay rad.